All right, guys, what's up? We're back at it right here again, Transparent Fox. You already know, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, like I said earlier, if you guys were watching the first part of this video, we went ahead and prepped this metal bumper, got it ready, showed you guys kind of what's going on with, with a metal bumper. So what we're going to do is go ahead and swap to a plastic bumper, kind of show you guys how to fix the scratch on the plastic bumper. Then we'll go ahead and probably make a third video on, on priming these and, and getting it all done, guys. So let's check this out. So on something like this, like, I, like we did with that before, it's pretty much the same process. Unfortunately, with this, the scratch is pretty deep. So for us to get that plastic back down, we're going to have to use an 80 or a 120. I have 80 right here. Want to be a little careful with it. You don't want to dig too far around, you know what I mean, and get 80 scratches anywhere else. Like I was saying in the first videos, luckily it's white, so you don't see so much of the scratches. But let's go ahead and start sanding this out a little bit with 80 and just kind of watch how I keep it kind of smaller, not trying to dip the DA and, and dig into the plastic, but trying to kind of crisscross it and, and almost block it out with the DA. So at the end, once we prime it and paint it, it's not so much as a divot, which is working with something like this. So I don't know if you guys can see this in the video, but there's a little darker scratch in the center of this. You can see it's kind of like all like where we've made our, our marks, obviously getting the plastic. But in the center right here, you see that real dark black spot. Um, that's obviously where it still is. So I have a couple choices. We either sit here and keep kind of sanding it, which obviously might create a dipple. And we're going to see maybe later on. Or we could probably fill it in and then try to sand it or block it out, you know what I mean? And just kind of, and then prime it, you know, so that we're not digging the plastic in. But then again, it is a white bumper, you know what I mean? It's just the F-150. We're probably not going to see that deep of a scratch anyway if we get, you know, a little bit more on it. So that's where we just kind of go ahead and we make the choice to j let's just keep sanding it a little bit more. And let's see if we can't get this out. Because once we put some primer, maybe the primer will kind of fill some of it in. Primer is not filler. And a lot of painters out there will be like, God dang it, dude, don't be saying that, bro. Body man bringing us stuff down to put some extra primer. And you can't. Really, two coats of primer anymore, man. You start solvent popping or, you know, it's just too much. All right, so we successfully sanded that out. And since the only sandpaper we have that's a little finer is that 80, let's just go ahead with some 180 right here. We could go 120, but um, that's all right. We're not getting too crazy. We got a brand new piece. We got a small area. We, this should be enough to sand that anyway.
and then you just kind of feel it. Feels pretty smooth. You don't feel a lot of aggressive scratches in here. There's a little bit right here, but Primer will probably feel it. It's not a crazy horrible. So if it was me, I'd go ahead and just scuff it, scuff around, you know, make sure your edges are kind of scuffed. Just so if you do get primer on those edges, it does stick and it doesn't start to fold. All right, got our edges scuffed and stuff, so that's how you pretty much prep plastic. That took a little longer, but um, let's go ahead and I guess, yeah, that's really all we can do. Let's go ahead and shut it off real, real quick right here, guys, and, um, and the only reason I kind of have to, I, I feel like the primer is going to take just a little bit longer because we're going to have to put some... Um, some uh, bulldog on this or at least some plastic prep whatever you guys are using i personally i, I always I, it's not that i hate bulldog it's just i've always had a bad luck with it um at the dealerships they use a certain kind of plastic prep that you just kind of spray on there before you prime it you obviously let it dry but uh, you spray it it's kind of like bulldog but i don't know man last time i bulldog something it didn't it didn't work very well for me but um what we're going to do is we're going to spray some Bulldog on here and on there so that when we do prime this plastic, it's going to stick. And then with this metal, we're going to go ahead and metal etch it and uh, and make sure that, you know, the primer sticks to the metal. You could prime it like that. I personally think you can just because it's quick. But what a lot of people will say is this will like probably surface rust or something because the, uh, the primer, uh, the etching primer, I don't know what or how or... I don't know if it's just really meant to actually bite to the bare steel and allow uh, primers or other sealers to kind of bite to that so that it doesn't chip, I'd assume, is more really what etching primer is. Um, but I know it also helps the corrosion um, start to happen again. So it's just kind of something that, I don't know, it, it's, you guys could fight about it in the comments, whatever you feel like you want to. Uh, use it, don't use it. I mean, I kind of feel like in this situation, what the hell does it matter if you're using 2K primer, right? Or a really good high build primer if you're just going to put it on there. But, um, I mean, you could see that they've obviously had etching primer at one time on this bumper from why like, it has that dark, that dark color. So, I don't know, man. You Like I said, you guys fight about it in the comments. You tell me. We're going to shut this one off. We're going to start another one real quick, and we're going to explain the uh, process of priming it.